and weather. WVTM 13 live Doppler some heavy thunderstorms in progress in Jefferson, Bibb, Tuscaloosa, Walker and Cullman counties. The thunder here is going to sound extremely loud because of the inversion layer. The fact that it's cool down low and warm up top. So when these lightning strikes happen, that thunder will rumble for miles and miles. Some of the rain here is pretty heavy too in Jefferson County, Walker County going up toward uh, Smith Lake and Cullman County and headed up toward Good Hope and the city of Cullman. Same thing here around Tuscaloosa moving northeast toward Oak Grove, Bessemer, Hoover up into Homewood and then around Helena and Pelham as well. And it's much heavier down to the south. Severe weather occurring across Louisiana. This batch of thunderstorms across central Mississippi is mainly headed into southwest Alabama. That's where I think the main risk of severe weather will be, but we are all going to be getting some strong wind gusts. We have them already here atop Red Mountain in Birmingham, but down in the valley, it's not that bad yet. We think the wind will gust as high as 40 to 50 on average, with some places in the higher elevations above about 12 to 1500 feet in elevation. You could get 60 mile per hour wind gusts. The primary severe weather threat down to the south and with some of this locally heavy rain, a few communities could exceed one inch of rainfall, although most of us may come up just a bit short of that. So from now through about three o'clock, clock in the morning. We've got this big band of rain and wind set up over West Alabama, moving into the Birmingham, Cullman, Aniana area through Centerville and down toward Chilton County from two o'clock in the morning till about six o'clock in the morning that will be shifting east. And while yeah, there is a limited threat of a severe thunderstorm, it would mainly be south of US 80 from Demopolis to Selma to Montgomery down toward the Alabama Gulf Coast. So impact weather is happening tonight and tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, it's just a chilly breeze and it'll still be blustery on Wednesday. There's a wind advisory in effect throughout Wednesday afternoon. Uh, so here's what it looks like 11 p.m. We got widespread gusty winds as well as some locally heavy rainfall, and this is just going to continue through the night. And at times the wind is really going to ramp up, potentially gusting at or above 50 miles per hour. Once the rain tapers off tomorrow morning, we'll see a brighter afternoon with clouds gradually decreasing, but the overall picture is one of a blustery wet start to the day. Watch out for power outages tonight. You you may be without power for several hours in some communities. Chilly on Thursday and Friday, then more rain arrives over the weekend. Let's go to Kerry.